Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. So let's dive into a update on a 4095 text proposal passing this afternoon. So as you can see on my screen here, I've got a screenshot provided to me by a member of the Terror Rebels community who is currently keeping tabs on things. Um, I'm not able to right now uh, put um, the time in to quickly do the things that are needed to get this. Instead, I'm just going to um, obviously take updates through the group with the person whilst they work on the fix for the Terra Station for Chrome. Um, so as you know, uh, we've been voting on this one for around seven days, submitted seven days ago, and it was to re-enable staking and delegation to existing active validator sets only. That means uh, anybody new trying to join the validator set will have to wait until August, around August 22nd. It could be shorter, it could be longer. It depends on how fast the blockchain moves. And um, this one's really important, folks. The amount of you that have just bonded together, stood strong, and been just there at every turn of the corner for both myself and Terra Rebels. And like we said, you will always need to keep voting on these governance proposals throughout the lifetime of Luna Classic. It will always be something that has to be done. This is why we have a governance. And then we're able to vote on that governance using our Luna Classic coins. Because we hold a bag, we should have a say. And uh, that's the way governance should be run. And I think it's really good. But the fact that this has passed is absolutely huge. And now a lot of people are going to be sat there and they're going to be saying, so what are the next steps, Jay? What's going on next? So I've been in touch with uh, Raider this afternoon. If you don't know who Raider is, Raider is the chairman of Terror Rebels. And um, he's pretty much put this forward to me is that the next steps are for them to finish testing of the code changes build the release and then persuade validators to take the release from their repo. And that's the repository. If you don't know what repo means, uh, it's short for repository. And that's where the code will be put in and then presented, so to speak. And uh, what do we need from you folks now as a community? Um, what would we like you to do? And what we would really, really, really love for you all to do now is to pretty much apply pressure to every validator that is currently on the classic network. I've made a tweet. I'm going to retweet it out today with all of the same people tagged in it. And it has near to every validator who is on the classic chain tagged in it. Whether they're active or not active, I have still tagged them to um, help spread the word. And like I said, folks, we really need you to apply pressure. And no, that doesn't mean going on a huge rant. Um, and being rude, um, spam uh, comment in or spam tweet in someone. We need to do it politely. We need to do it very efficiently and we need to do it smartly as a community, as a whole, the exact same way we are voting on proposals and we're standing strong together like the big huddle of penguins that we seem to be. And uh, I like to paint the image in our minds that we are a huddle of penguins because it's very true about uh, penguins circling for heat and uh, pretty much the penguins on the inside stay warm. The penguins on the outside uh, face the brunt. And as the group rotates, they change positions. And the people that are on the outside now get to be on the inside for a little bit, staying warm and overall helping the overall community of penguins. So less penguin talk, more crypto talk, Jay. Like I've said, let's apply pressure now as much as we can. If you're seeing the tweets that we're putting out, make sure you're retweeting them. Um, that's not us saying to you, you have to retweet them. You do what you feel is best as uh, playing your role in the community and you guide this on how it is governed. And if you don't like something, come forward and say that you don't like this. Why, why can't we do this instead? Why can't we do that instead? That's why Terror Rebels have an open door. So that anybody who is anybody can come over and pop in the suggestions something they think should happen or something they should think that should be proposed. And they're there. I'm um, sorry. They are there to help you folks govern the um, the coin and the network. And uh, yeah, pretty much the general direction of how this is going to go. They can only write out the codes. They can only provide the text proposals and they can only propose these to the validators. It is down to the community to get the message across and let 
the validators know this is what's happening. This is what we would like. And we would really, really like for you to be on board so we can actually revive uh, well, not revive, but continue reviving this project, because in my opinion, it has been brought down, uh, brought back up from that real, real, real low stage of hitting zero and capitulating and actually going into the negatives. If you've got an accurate chart, you'll see that. And uh, from a team, like they said, they're going to be working on finishing testing for those code changes. They're going to build the release and then they're going to persuade validators to um, take the release from the re repository, okay? And that means both 4095 and 3568, which are both text proposals, not parameter change proposals, should be implemented at the same time. And this is really good to see something like this happening. It's very organized. It shows that um, they're able to multitask, do a lot of things, and they are very professional. Um, that's just my opinion. You may have a different opinion. Let us know in the comments if you think there's something wrong. Um, let us know if there's anything wrong with the formats or just anything in general. Let us know. Let me know about the microphone and everything in between. It's really hot here today in the UK. Um, I hope everyone's staying hydrated. I know I am. I'm currently drinking a Paradise Punch that I made uh, from a recipe on the internet and uh, I think it's actually from Texas which is really cool um, I skipped the alcohol part of it for obvious reasons so it's literally just a paradise punch um, so stay safe out there folks and uh, yeah always trade safely um, don't trade on emotion try and trade on facts where possible beware of people spreading misinformation people fudding without actual factual evidence to back up what they are saying beware of scammers doppelgangers anybody pretending to be me they're not me anyone posting whatsapp numbers that is not me i do moderate the comments and make sure that the spam is being removed and no i do not remove people's comments you are free to say whatever you want in there you may sometimes have your comment removed because possibly you something you've said has correlated with something a bot has said at some point and um your message basically gets hidden because of the foul word uh tool pretty much that us as youtubers use to moderate comments without having to actually remove them they just get removed automatically so yeah maybe it's something in your comment that you worded but anyway free to speak whatever you want we're open door same with the telegram group you can always head over there constant updates broadcast the system um catch me on twitter happy cat crypto and uh yeah catch you folks in the next one Shloop.